YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy Bubai, and welcome back to another video on the channel. EA have just released the new David Raum Rule Breakers SBC. So, what we're going to be doing today is an SBC player review to see whether or not completing this is worth it. Before we jump into it, guys, we are running a giveaway at 100 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you a thing, and it really does help support the channel and help us grow together. So, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and get in on the giveaway. Um, but before we jump into the video, guys, also leave a like and comment comment down below whether or not you're going to be completing David Raum and without further ado let's jump into the player review so David Raum uh, only one requirement for this one which is pretty good I think he's going to be fairly cheap a uh, minimum of one Bundesliga player a minimum of 185 overall player or higher and then also a 84 rated squad so fairly cheap you're looking at around 40,000 coins to complete it maybe a bit less if you have some fodder in your club um, but let's go ahead and look at his attribute details in a bit more details so player bio we have a five foot eleven left wing back high medium work rates if you're gonna play him at the left wing back role it's not that bad if you're gonna play him strictly at left back that might be a bit of an issue because he might be bombing up the field quite a bit he has three star skill moves two star weak foot so you're gonna really have to force it onto his left uh, player details he can also play left back and also left mid so that's actually pretty cool um as a left midfielder we're gonna have to see whether or not his passing is good enough uh, if we look at his attribute details a bit more, he has 90 pace, 89 acceleration, and 90 sprint speed is fantastic for a left back or left wing back. His shooting is not the greatest, but let's be honest, you're not going to be really shooting with Raum. Uh, his passing at 80 passing, he has 81 vision, 92 crossing, which is very, very good. You can play him at left back, left wing back, or left mid with that kind of uh, crossing. His free kick accuracy doesn't really matter. You only have one free kick taker in the game, uh, in your team anyway. Uh, 76 short pass 74 long pass okay so uh his main factor here whether or not he will be a good left back or a left wing back is his passing he has 76 short pass and 74 long pass not the greatest not the greatest uh he also has 84 curve definitely with a chemistry style we can bump that up a bit because you're going to be really sending the balls uh into the box or you're going to be sending it long or playing in short intricate football you're going to need your left back or your left wing back to have higher passing stats his dribbling is really really good at 85 84 agility 84 balance 85 reactions 84 ball control 86 dribbling and 82 composure fantastic dribbling for a left back 84 defending is also very very good he has 88 interceptions which is phenomenal 82 defensive awareness 88 stand tackle and 86 slide tackle so his defending stats and his dribbling stats pace very very good passing could be bumped up a little bit and also physical only at 75 with 61 jumping 85 stamina 74 strength and 67 aggression so personally i would recommend a chemistry style that was going to uh, increase his passing and physical a bit more his dribbling his defending and his pace is fantastic but those two categories need to be bumped up a bit more and then for player traits he has none so what i want to do right now is i just want to see uh what kind of alternatives there are to uh the, to david Raum. i know that uh off the top of my head we have alfonso davies which is a fantastic left back in the game he's probably a bit more expensive to acquire but you know you do have that alternative you don't have to waste 40 50 000 coins on a player that uh isn't going to really hold his value so let's go ahead and go to constant players left back from the bundesliga not low to high excuse me concept players Ooh, come on there we go okay so we have alfonso davies as an 84 rated left back fantastic 82 guerrero ben sabini in form not the greatest of cards gunter not the greatest of cards so if you're looking at a left back from the bundesliga you really have alfonso davies or david ram rule breakers now if you are running a bundesliga team i would highly recommend completing this just because the only other option is alfonso davies now, if you're not running a Bundesliga team or you, for some reason, can't fit him into your team, I would avoid doing this SBC. Uh, there's better left backs in the game than David Raum, and he's going to cost you around forty to fifty thousand coins to complete. So you're better off playing. Uh, you're better off taking those coins and actually buying a left back than doing this SBC. But if you are running the Bundesliga team, highly, highly recommend completing David Raum. He can play left back, left wing back, left mid. The only real option is Alfonso Davies. And then also for 40,000 coins and 85 rated left back rule breakers is very, very good. Uh, so whether or not this SBC is worth it, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, it is, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. If you did enjoy today's video, please consider leaving a like. 
and also consider subscribing to the channel as we are on the road to 100 subscribers we're almost halfway there thank you guys for all of the recent support thank you for clicking on this video i've been your boy Boba, and i'll catch you guys in another video very very soon peace